the volcanic rocks in Iceland have high permeability, so uh, groundwater seeps down and becomes heated by contact with hot rock, and then it rises through fractures. So we drill into these fractures to tap the water. Either it flows out of the wells by itself, or it is pumped from the wells. And today, almost 90% of the people of Iceland, they use geothermal hot water for heating their home. We can drink it, it's pure. And when we go, we can, take, we can just take a container with us and we can fill it up everywhere. We don't have to buy it. And we have, uh, we drink a lot of water. And of course we find that the Icelandic water is the best in the world. So like my 12-year-old son, he, he doesn't drink any soda. He only drinks water and milk. Það er gaman í baði og ég leik mér oft með Axelman í baði og þá var ég mjög lengi í baði og það var mjög gaman og það er það eldi að líka í baði í vatninu og baði. We have used both our cold water and not least our hot water or geothermal water to create a welfare society and uh, people are used to that. But now that we have run into hard times, I think that people have seen water in a new light. <laughs> The energy used for aluminum smelters from this hot water is very, very low. It's only 10% of the whole energy. So we need to be careful not to use this excessively because in the long run, if we use it too much, it will be gone. And then we have to wait for another 400 years before we can start using it again. This is our oil or, or, or our gold, uh, so to speak. If we didn't have this energy, we would have to import um, fossil fuels uh, to, to uh, pro provide us with electricity. When we are fully built, in about two years, we will have six uh, machinery units producing combined 300 megawatts of electricity. And this power could, in theory, supply the whole Iceland with electricity. <laughs> 